Welcome to a tutorial of Bookery, version 4.7 on iOS. This video was created with support from the Government of Canada's Social Development Partnerships Program Disability Component. The opinions and interpretations in this video are those of the creator and do not necessarily reflect those of the Government of Canada. It was produced with cited assistance. Bookery offers an interface that is quite simple and easy to learn. While there is no read to end feature, VoiceOver advances automatically to the next page once the current one is read. However, advertisements are presented as you use the free version of this app, which can be problematic for VoiceOver users. The app supports books in EPUB 2 and PDF, along with a selection of popular classics ready to download as soon as it opens. Additional books can be copied to Bookery right from the NELS repository, downloaded from Project Gutenberg, or sideloaded from Dropbox. Here, we're looking at the record for Treasure Island on the NELS website. When we press Download EPUB, we're asked where to store the book. You may need to press More first, but we're going to select Open in Bookery. Treasure Island is now open in Bookery, showing up in the reading pane. To ask VoiceOver to begin reading, just swipe down with two fingers. VoiceOver on. Landscape. Home button to the right. Bookery. Part I. The Old Buccaneer. Chapter I. The Old Sea Dog at the Admiral Benbow. Squire Trelawney. One Dr. Livesey. And the rest of these gentlemen having asked me to write down the whole particulars about Treasure Island. From the beginning to the end. Keeping voiceover off. To access reading features, just double tap the reading pane. This reveals seven buttons at the bottom of the screen in the center. We'll now go through each one from left to right. At the far left of the button bar is Navigation. To move to a different chapter, just press Navigation, swipe through the list until you find the desired section, and tap it to go there in your book. Annotate is used to add tags to your book. Theme and Display let you choose visual reading preferences. And sadly, the Listen feature is only available in the Premium Edition. To find text in your book, Press search, type in the phrase you wish to find, then press search on the right side of the keyboard. Bookery will then position you on the next page that contains your query. Three unlabeled buttons are also shown at the top right of the screen. From left to right, they are back, next, and close. The last button in the bar at the bottom of the reading pane is called Info. This displays the title, author, and publication details, along with file info of the book you're reading. To add a bookmark, press the unlabeled button at the top right of the screen. To review the bookmarks you've set, press Navigation, then tap the Bookmarks tab at the top right of the screen. Bookery makes it easy to find and read many different books, and has a clean and usable interface. Once you get the hang of it, it works well with voiceover.